Hello, this is Christine Hill, and welcome to my presentation on um, PHP scope of variables. Okay, uh, scope refers to the availability of a variable inside a program. There's four types of variables in PHP. There's local, which obviously has local scope. Global has global scope. Static variables have local scope. And function parameters also have local scope. <clears throat> local variables are declared within the function that has local scope and can only be accessed from within that function. So this variable here is declared within the brackets of this function and so it is accessible when it is called here. Now if you call the same function outside of those brackets then the variable will not function and it will produce an error. Global variables are accessible from outside the function or class and they can be um, defined outside of that um, function. So here this function is uh, declared before the function starts. So uh, trying to access it from inside it, it doesn't it can't call it and so this will just produce a, a blank there. But using the calling the the function down here, now this variable is available outside of that function. If you want to use a global variable within a function, you just use this global prefix. So here the variable is declared. Here we use the global prefix and then it can be called here or here. Yes. Okay, PHP has a predefined superglobal variable. It's a an um, an array, and it's a, the dollar sign globals with an S and all caps. The index holds the name of the variable. So here it's declared, and then this is the name of that variable, and then it will hold the um, value as an element. Uh, the global array is accessed from within a function, so between the brackets, and can be updated directly by using that array. Okay, static variables. <clears throat> uh, normally, um, a local variable is deleted when it function gets to the end of the block, uh, and then it doesn't exist anymore. But if you want to be able to access it after that function, you just use this static prefix when you declare the variable and then with this function each time it's called it's going to call the, the most current um, value that that variable held and then the next time it'll increment it to 1 then the second one time it increments it to 2. I have different fonts there. Uh, okay function parameters are kind of a special type of a um, variable and that there are arguments in a function. Um, uh, by they're declared within the in the function and then they work just like a local variable. So here we have um, dollar sign number one and dollar sign number two are our variables that are um, function parameters. Then here it then those are called so then we pass uh, two digits into the function, so we, we're declaring them as 2 and 2, and so the result will be 4. So using a variable in a different scope, um, this is one way you can do that. Um, so you could declare it again and change the scope or, or, I mean, change the variable that way, but it isn't an appropriate way to use a global variable. So some more on scope. Uh, Vinci from phppot.com says the boundary of file includes does not demarcate the scope of variables. The scope of a variable is only governed by the function block and not based on the file include. A variable can be declared in a PHP file and used in another file by using include or require that file. Okay, this is what I think that means is as an example is in this PHP uh, template from our Acme project we have included another PHP file, several of them, so that any um, 
variables that were included in this file would not dictate the scope of whatever function they were called in. In this case, they're not really called in a function. Okay, another uh, thing is a scope in nested functions. Here you have an example of um, an ex a function called food, and it has a fruit um, variable declared, and inside the brackets of this function is another function declared with its own um, variable animal. So um, fruit cannot be accessed in here without using the global function because it's not part of this function. An animal cannot be accessed out here because it's part of this inner function. So that is my presentation and here are my sources. Thank you for watching.